If you want to make a man cry, take away his toys. I stopped all the car payments on my husband's car when I found out he was a disgusting cheater and he was having an affair with the little floozy he works with. When the repossession company told me they were coming to take the car away today, I gave them the address of his little floozy's house. Then I drove straight over there because I couldn't wait to see the look of shock on his face when he realized they were going to take away his pride and joy car. He argued with them at first, but then he gave them the keys. When they were gone, he stood in the driveway with his little girlfriend and tears rolled down his cheeks. At that point, I decided to drive by and let them know I was in when the neighborhood. my husband decided to throw our marriage away like it was a piece of trash, no, I wasn't going to take that just lying down. As soon as I found out about his affair, I kicked him out of our house, changed the locks, and yesterday I had his car repossessed. Well, he wasn't too happy about that because he's been blasting me all over social media to our friends and anyone who will listen. I've decided to reply to his comments with some photographs of my own, screenshots of him messaging numerous women behind my back, screenshots of him with his little floozy at work, and my personal favourite that I just took this morning, a picture of him waiting at the bus stop. I went to open my mailbox this morning and I smelt a really foul, disgusting odour coming from inside. So I opened it and there was a package of rotting meat inside. Now there's only one other person who has the key to my mailbox and that's my soon-to-be ex-cheating husband. Either him or his little floozy girlfriend that he works with did this, so I was pissed and I drove straight over there to confront them. When I walked in, his little floozy was on the reception desk and I threw the package of meat in front of her. She called the boss immediately, who came out and asked me why I was throwing meat at his daughter. My jaw just about hit the floor. Did I hear that right? My husband is dating the boss's daughter. Like recap. My husband had an affair with a little floozy from work, so I kicked him out and I had his car repossessed. The day afterwards, he put rotting meat in my mailbox, so I went down to his workplace to confront them both. That's when I found out that he was actually dating the boss's daughter. Well, I sang like a canary. I told him everything that had been going on and that they had been seeing each other for months. So the boss asked me to leave and I went out to my car to call my friend and tell her what had happened. A few minutes later, my husband came out with a box of what I believe to be his work stuff, so I guess he must have gotten fired or suspended. I guess he never heard the saying, don't shit on your own doorstep. So my husband got fired from his job yesterday. The reason he got fired from his job was because he was having an affair with the boss's daughter and I exposed him. Then, somewhere in my husband's hollow brain, he decided it would be a good idea to message me today and ask me if I want to get couples therapy. I said, let me get this straight. You have no house, you just lost your job, you haven't even got a car and you lost your floozy girlfriend. And now you think it would be a good idea for us to get couples therapy and work through all of this? The only reason I would ever consider getting back with you again is to make sure each and every day of your life was a living nightmare. He didn't it's reply back. It's okay to cheat sometimes, but only in the kitchen. I wish someone had explained that to my husband a little bit better because he seemed to be confused about how to keep it in his pants. Now that we have broken up and he has lost his job, he's back living in his mum's house and I checked his social media today and he has changed his relationship status to it's complicated. There is nothing complicated about the fact that I kicked his ass to the curb because he cheated on me so many times or that he lost his job because he just went and slept with the boss's daughter. Moral of the story is if you want a loyal relationship... Get yourself a dog. Every time I make a paella now, it reminds me of my disgusting, cheating husband and the time he proposed to me when we were in Spain. We had just went into a restaurant and had ordered the paella and as soon as the waitress left, he got down on one knee and asked me if I would marry him and make him the happiest man alive. So I said yes. That was the first mistake I made. Then the paella came and we were eating it and he was sucking on those juicy thigh bones when all of a sudden he started to cough and choke. His face turned bright purple. So I slapped him on the back and a huge piece of bone came flying out of his mouth. That was the second mistake that I made. My husband died. 
of embarrassment recently when I posted on social media that I had his car repossessed because he's a disgusting cheater. He had to answer comment after comment asking him how come he lost his job and how come he lost his car. The only problem is it seems to have backfired on me because now all of his friends have set him up a GoFundMe page so he can get his beloved car back. If you ask me, they should have set him up a go fuck off page instead.